Welcome back, Tech Zone, our last segment of the show. And thank you so much for staying with me through the duration of the show. Again, I'd like to thank you all who are supporting the show on ABC News Radio, on live stream, on YouTube. It's been a whirlwind of fun. Thank you guys so much. And um, our theme of the show has been about social media and how to interact with with some of your consumers out there, if you're a business or even if you're in the industry, uh, whatever you are, you know, social media is so important when it comes to getting the pulse of your fans, followers, you name it. And our next guest we're about to bring on shortly had some great news uh, bestowed upon her, uh, I want to say about a week ago. And I got caught sight of it on social media and I shared it as well, too. But uh, check this out. Let me know what you guys think. One of my besties. Here we go. <laughs> I started making Pure Bars in my kitchen 10 years ago when my six-year-old daughter decided to become a vegetarian. Pure was born out of a true and authentic desire to feed my child the best, most nutritious food. And this is the foundation on which we have built the Pure brand over the last 10 years. Because of the success and the growth we've had, thanks to you, the customer who has believed in us and supported us over the years, we now have the amazing opportunity to move forward as part of the Kashi family of brands. One of the reasons I knew Kashi was a great fit for Pure was because they fell in love with Pure for all the right reasons, the same reasons we love the brand. They appreciated the homegrown roots and the values that we stand for and the effort that we put into making delicious organic products. I'm so excited to join their team and work with them to continue to build the Pure Organic brand. Since I started Pure, it has been a daily goal of mine to bring more nutritious organic food to more people. Kashi has the resources, the knowledge, better distribution to allow us to do just that, to create more organic, nutritious food, to get it to more people and to improve more lives. And that's what it's always been about. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, <laughs> I'm so happy to have with me right now from a beach in California right now. Which beach you at, Veronica? <laughs> Hi, Paul. Thanks for having me. Hey, great to have you on with us, Veronica. And congratulations on the on the great news of of the merger, the merger with with Kashi. And uh, gosh, it, it it had to really just, uh, uh, you know, how did you feel when you got the news that this was going to be a reality? I, I was so excited because I, um, you know, for me, it's just a great next step for Pure. Kashi is so aligned with our values and what we stand for. And, um, you know, it gives me the opportunity to continue building this brand. And, and like I said in the video, bring better food to more people um, and ultimately change the food system for the better. Uh, and hopefully along the way, improve the health of the earth, improve the health of our customers who we love dearly. So it's, it's just a wonderful opportunity for us. Uh, well, well said, Veronica. And, you know, our, our theme for this segment is, is social media and how businesses can interact and not only businesses, but also other people who are in maybe in entertainment uh, can interact with their consumers or fans. And, and why is it so important to, to have your finger on the pulse of what's going on with consumers out there? Well, social media is amazing when you're a company that um, really values a relationship with your customer, which I think more and more companies are realizing how important that is. And Pure has always, that has been a number one priority for Pure since the very beginning, um, to really establish that relationship, to be transparent, to have free communication with our customers. And social media enables us to do that. Um, it gives the customer a voice 
that, uh, you know, they, it's hard for them to have in any other way. Um, and we are very, very active, as you know, on social media. Um, and so we benefit from the honest conversations, from the feedback we get from our customers, um, from the encouragement we get from our customers. They're, they're absolutely wonderful. And just um, being able to reach new audiences and people that um, really would appreciate our product and would never come across it any other way. So as a business, for me, social media, the most important part of it is being able to really connect in a meaningful way with our consumer. And, you know, Veronica, you know, we, we kind of talked about it. Uh, you kind of talked about it during, during uh, what you were saying right now. Uh, as far as in- encouragement and things out there that you may get from from different um, uh, customers out there, and that's needed a lot, especially when you're having a bad day. You know, when you when you're kind of thinking, well, did I make the right choice starting this business? You know, things may not be going well, but then you get that that email or that 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 tweet or that Facebook post and say, mm-hmm. "Hey, Veronica, Pure Bar has changed my life." Have you experienced that um, being in the business? Yeah, one of the things I love um, about social media, too, is that it's very simple and it's very user friendly. So, you know, in the past, um, usually you'd get a lot more complaint phone calls and complaint (laughs) emails because it took, you know, a certain amount of effort to do that. Um, Because it's so easy to communicate through social media, you do get a lot more of that positive feedback and just ideas and love um, and it so it balances it out a lot, uh, a lot more than when, you know, you were just getting, you know, kind of phone calls for people who, who had problems um, or complaints. So, yeah, I love that part of it. And it always, um, you know, just it helps me to realize mm-hmm. that uh, humans are wonderful and our customers are wonderful and 99 percent of the people are very, very good people and and they're they're open to complimenting you and um, when you're making a good product and you know you're authentically trying to give them what they want um, you know they're they're very encouraging and very kind and I love that so much and you know Veronica and we have to face it too being humans you know we need that positive affirmation at times you know Mm -hmm. because you know you put so much of yourself out there you know, going out on a limb, creating this product, you know, and you put your blood, sweat and tears with it, the way that you started it out. And mm-hmm. and sometimes, you know, you get those Twitter trolls and everything just pop out of nowhere. I know I, I get them, too. And I'm like, would you just get a life or maybe go on the street and play with the ball or something? No, I'm just joking. I don't <laughs> want to tell anybody to do that. But but, you know, it's it, it's really good to get that get that powerful affirmation. Now, was there anything as specific or particular um, that a comment uh, that you received as far as, you know, changing the ingredients in something or, or maybe telling mm-hmm. you to come up with a recipe or something, um, social media. Did you have to, did you ever deal with that when it comes to the business? Too, yeah. As well? yeah. I mean, like I said, it's such a great way to uh, communicate and give your customers a way to give you feedback. And we take that very, very seriously. Um, I know, especially in the last couple of years, We've gotten feedback um, on sugar and sugar mm-hmm. content and the types of sugar that we use. And so we are renovating products and we are creating new products with all of that feedback in mind. Um, it's very important for us to um, continue to give the customer what they need, continue to do our research and understand what the healthiest choices are um, and provide products for that. So, yeah, I mean, we take that feedback very seriously. And I love that feedback um, because it's, you know, it's like research that you don't have to pay for. It's true and authentic um, ideas and feedback coming from your customers. That's incredibly valuable as a business. And, you know, Veronica, that, that's great advice uh, for ones in business, uh, ones in entertainment, ones who are putting themselves out there, who are artists, because sometimes we get kind of, how can I say it, touchy. Uh, when yeah. it comes to, to feedback and let's say some criticism, constructive criticism, mm-hmm. because we how how not to take it personal when you get something like that on social media, like like you said with the sugar content and everything. Because I remember when the when the rebranding came out and about how the, the, the different ingredients that you would have now, how yeah. how not to take that personal and to see that wait a minute, these uh, consumers or my followers may be onto something mm-hmm. by giving me that type of uh, input. 
Yeah, I mean, it's just that. It's like not going in there with an ego um, and and being very open to hearing what's on the mind of your consumers because that's, you know, that's your core consumer is the, the pulse of the group that you really want to understand. Um, so it's exactly what you said. It's just not taking it personally, um, looking deeper into it, maybe asking some more questions for clarification. Um, and, you know, and then taking their ideas and, you know, if you want to do a little more research behind them. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's nothing wrong with um, people telling you how, you know, what more they want. And sometimes you can, you do it and sometimes you can't, but um, it's, it's always done in a way that, you know, is, is basically, I look at it as helping us get better um, and helping us um, be very reactive um, to consumer needs instead of, you know, just stagnant in what we do every single day. Um, we want to be flexible. We want to be nimble. We want to be able to give consumers what they want. And nowadays that's, that changes quickly. Yeah, that's so true. And I remember an author I interviewed uh, last year and he gave, he gave some good advice similar to yours. And he was saying that when everyone is singing like a sympathy, a symphony, I'm sorry, in 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 an agreement with something to change, then it's like you know it's like wow I need to listen to this. He said, but then you get people, you get one or two people out there who are just yeah. maybe have their own agenda or you know how do you balance that out, Veronica? You know you may have two or three people saying one thing, but then the masses are saying no. The masses are saying right. no. Leave it alone. How, how do you balance that out, especially on social media? Yeah, I mean, um, for me, I I. I like to respond to everybody and um, I just try to be really honest with mm-hmm. people. And so if, you know, if one or two people are asking for something that the, that most people don't want, um, you know, I'll just tell them that you know, we've, we've talked with our consumers about this and, and most of them prefer it this way. So that's the way we're going to stay. You know, I'm really sorry. We're not, we're not going to move in that direction at this point, but I always thank them for their feedback. Um, and, you know, in the end, sometimes you have to agree to disagree uh, but it can be done in a, you know, in a mature way. And I don't want to ever turn off those customers because I, mm. you know, I want to continue to get their feedback um, because, you know, everybody's opinion is valuable. That That is so true. And, you know, I had a, a one of my one of my viewers and listeners um, email me one day and said, hey, you know, I, I, I like this style of dress other than the other style of dress. <laughs> and, and, and when I first heard of Veronica, I was like, man. Why are you dissing my style, man? But but then, but then what I did was, you know, I took it to heart and I was like, you know what? Maybe he's on to something. So I incorporated some things that he liked and I incorporated some things that my my younger viewers like, my Gen X viewers and everything. So I kind of married those things together and I got a compliment from him the other day on my oh. YouTube channel. So I was like, hey, OK, I, I, I got to got to get better at this. But 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 you're absolutely right. You know, you know, we have to listen to uh, critiques out there because someone maybe. Uh, telling us uh, something, something for our, for our own good, and well, with the recipes that you have, Veronica, they're just amazing. The the cookbook is amazing, and uh, when it comes to you know, I would be remiss not to not to beg on air about a recipe, a summer recipe, something that can keep <laughs> us cool. And uh, okay. and, and Veronica, what what we can keep us cool this summer, but keep the calories down? Oh man, I have two favorites that I don't even know if you could call them recipes because they're so easy. <laughs> One of the things that I always do in the summer for my kids, which they love, is I freeze their grapes, mm. purple or green. I wash them and then I freeze them and they absolutely love them. I don't know what it is about a frozen grape, but it just it cools you down and it feels great in your mouth. So that's one idea. The other one is a little more complex, but still very simple. I take sweet, ripe bananas cut them up um, into, you know, like quarter size uh, in a in a Pyrex dish. I cover it. I freeze it for a couple hours. And then using my food processor, I blend it um, until it's creamy. Uh, bananas blend up creamy like ice cream. Mm-hmm. And then you can add whatever you want. If you want to add some mango, if you want to add some peanut butter, if you want to add a little vanilla to it, um, you can customize it any way you want. And it's a very healthy, cool, sweet treat that um, is great for kids and adults alike and takes the place of, you know, a a 
an ice cream or something that's fatty or not as good for you. That sounds so good. You know, I had to throw that in <laughs> and get, get a recipe from, from Veronica. And, and Veronica, before we let you go, just a few other things when it comes to social media. What, what kind of advice out there could you give uh, for ones out there um, who may be starting a business in, in the health, nutrition field, um, as you did when you started out uh, several years ago? Um, what kind of advice can you give them, especially because when you started out, social media was just kind of getting its legs under under themselves. Now, now it's mushroom into this this huge conglomerate with Instagram, with Facebook, Tumblr, uh, Twitter. Um, you know, you name it. It's a lot of things out there. What kind of advice can you give them as far as staying the course and not being discouraged? Yeah, I mean, a lot of the social media now can be connected, so you don't have to actually post all these different times. You can post once or twice and and reach a lot of different social media venues. Um, I would say that. You know, besides being active and posting often, making sure that you're not just talking about your product and your promotions, which are great because it's educational and consumers want that, but you're also putting really relevant, interesting, helpful content on your page. Um, and that's what we try to do with our recipes and with our healthy living tips. Um, so it gives the customer a reason to come back, um, you know, to not just to check for promotions, um, not, but also to, you know, get some great content. Um, and we also like to treat our social media followers special so that they know that they're getting promotions um, and they're getting kind of a first glimpse at things that other people aren't. Um, so helping to make them feel special in that way is, is great as well. And that's one thing I have to give you props on, Veronica, you make each and every person feel special who's part of the pure family. I mean, you do. I mean, I I'm telling you out there, you viewers and listeners out there, what you see is what you get with Veronica. This, this is beautiful demeanor. This is real. This is not fake. This is not put on. This is really, really her. And, 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 and the success that you have, Veronica, like I, when I emailed you and found out about it, I said, it's really good to see one of the, the nice ones get a win. Because this is this is truly amazing. And I'm digging the new packages with the grams of protein on it and everything. That is so yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So so how can I'm sending you some more. Oh, thank you so much. You are so <laughs> sweet, Veronica. See, she spoils me too. That's why she's my bestie. See, one of my besties out there. But Veronica, how can our, our listeners and viewers find out more information about the product and follow you on social media and uh, interact with you as well? Yeah, you can visit our website at pureorganic.com. Um, all our social media icons are on there, so you can get to all our pages through our website. Uh, but we, we do have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash the pure bar, twitter.com slash the pure, the pure bar, uh, and Instagram, pure bar Veronica. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And Veronica, too, um, you know, Comic Con is coming up, and I'll be out there covering Comic Con. So I want all the viewers and listeners to, to really follow me because when I take a break, I'm not going to have a hot dog in my hand. I'm going to have right. a pure bar in my hand, some snacks in my hand, and I'm going to put it on social media, and you guys follow me, and you guys make sure that you get it as well, too. Veronica, my dear, always good to have you on. We look forward to Thank having you, you on have you on next month with us and giving us some more tips, and uh, congratulations again, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the beautiful Veronica Bosgraf. Veronica, thank you so much for joining me, my dear, and uh, again, congratulations on the merger with Kashi. That is awesome. Awesome. Also, we'd like to uh, thank Greg Avola uh, for joining me from Untapped. And don't forget to download that app. And how often can you have a person who ran NASA on your show who launched space shuttles? Wow, Dan Golden. That was part one of his interview. Don't forget, next week we'll have part two. You don't want to miss that. I am Paul Amadeus Lane. Don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel paul amadeus lane you can keep up on all the latest tech zone news by going to my website paulonwheels.com well i'm out of here sean what did you think guy we'll talk to you next week take care Bye bye